Hey guys, so I've not done one of these in actually a little while. Um, uh, let's put Pokemon Go. Um, you know what? I'm going to do the wrong one. Items. I'll just put an incense on because I've got a spare one anyway. To make it a little bit more exciting. Don't know where my character's walking to because that's not where I am. I'm like down here. <laughs> um, so, what's appeared? Gacha P. Um, yeah, I've not done this in a while, but it's because I've not actually been in work for a little while. Um, it's just the way the voters have fallen that I've not been voted in, which I'm not complaining because I had like over a week off. Um, and then it's coming on in two weeks, which I am super excited for. Cannot wait for Comic Con. Um, and one thing I, I realised um, yesterday, I was telling Collector and Box of this, oh, hello Kitty, so I just got back to cat, um, is that there is a, I think it's a Magikarp nest very, very close by the hostel that we're staying at. Um, there's three Pokestops, like in a triangle, and um, I probably mentioned it before. And after say midday, like like twelve or one pm, the lures light up the Christmas trees. They've got lures on them all the time. People keep even spoofers, like GPS spoofers, to go over and stop putting lures down in front of because you get so much good stuff. I've seen, we've had Blastoise there, we've had Gyarados there. Um, oh, I'm going too fast. I don't know where I'm running. <laughs> okay, calm down, phone. You know what? I'll re-log the game and see if it likes it then. Um, but yeah, we found Blastoise there before. We found Gyarados there before. Um, and you get some. You get do get. It's really good for farming. Um, good at farming Magikarps. Good at farming uh, Psyduck, Star Use. So really, if you want in quite a lot of water Pokemon. It's a pretty good location. Why am I still not... Okay, I want that though. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, the only thing is, my stepdad... Well, the reason there's not been as many Pokemon videos as well is because my stepdad's phone is broken. Um, I used to go Pokemon Go hunting with him and he dropped his phone and it smashed the screen up so you can't play Pokemon. Um, he did not have any insurance on it, so he's got some insurance sort of now. So, hof so hopefully um, he'll be able to claim on the phone. Um, and same with mine actually. I dropped mine a couple of weeks ago and the back of it's all smashed, like all smashed. And I thought, nah, it's nothing of it. It's a, it's a uh, Sony Xperia Z5 Compact, and they, they advertise these phones as waterproof for ages. Uh, like you can put them under water, you can wash them with water, that was a big advertising campaign. Then Sony went back and said no, these were done under lab conditions, where we plugged the headphone jack and charge and things like that, where you shouldn't have actually poured water on them. Uh, if you do that, if you purposely put water on them, it will invalidate your um, warranty. It was done with um, fresh clean. Um, basically distilled water, but in their adverts are showing them using like dropping it in the sea and pools and things like that. Completely fine, so I don't understand why they went back on it. Um, but what I've realised is that once the back is cracked, it lets water in. So I have you might not see, you might see it just down here um, on my screen. It's like little lighter patches, and that's the water that seeped in. And it's now ruined the screen. Um, it ruined. It, it was a lot worse before, but now that seems to be permanently sticking there. Um, but before, it was well. Before it was much, much worse. Um, but it has calmed down a bit, and it had ruined the front screen, like the front camera, actually as well. The front camera was so cloudy and so like you could see bits of water literally running down. And I just had a bat fly, fly past my head. This wasn't fighting birds again. Uh, trust me, that same corner gets fighting birds all the time. Uh, but yeah, for the poke stops, just a. Just across the road, it's just round 
like a crossroad around the corner, a tiny bit. It's a two minute walk from the hostel, so <laughs> probably me and Collecto probably dump all the, once once we get he's getting there on the Tuesday I believe it is. Um and we're getting there on the Friday. So probably on the Friday once we get there. Well, um we can't check into a hostel until 3, 3 p.m. Which is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to check into a hostel um, because myself, Hijinx, and Hijinx's girlfriend, Yasmin, or we've got a few last minute things to pick up. So we're just going to dump all the stuff in the hostel. Not going to, we brought hi, me and Hijinx ended up kind of setting things out. What's the period? Weedle. Um, but we thought, no, you know what, it doesn't matter at the moment, we're just going to have to pick up our stuff. That's it, I have to pick up new jeans because I slept and fell, destroyed them. <laughs> um, hi, giant. Well, we've also got, we use Lush quite a lot. So we've got quite a few pots from Lush. Fuck you, Weedle, I'm not even going for you now. Um, so we thought we'd return them and get like a face mask or something to try. Um, we've tried almost every one of them, we thought we'd try a different one. Um, and Yasmin needed um, a skirt and a couple of accessories for her cosplay for, um, because, well, first she wasn't going to do the cosplay then she said she will um, but she didn't want, she couldn't do it how she wanted um, she's going as Metaton from Undertale but she decided this like two weeks ago <laughs> and also she can't make the full costume so what I suggested was one of two methods if, um, if they want the surface. So she's getting like black skirt with chains on it and getting quite a cool shirt and things like that. And then I'm going to do her makeup. Um, well, I'm trying to do my best to do the makeup. <laughs> um, hopefully she'll like it. So that'll be fun. Um, we've got almost everything ready. I think we're convincing our stepdad to drive us because of money wise um, it's not going to be great if we go by train one, it's nearly £50 by train including taxis there and back um, and think of all the stuff we have to bring um, and by car it'll be like £28 including the discount from the whole hostel so I think we're going to take that. He, he thought we were meaning when we asked him to bring the car, he thought we meant to drive there and back, like park up wherever the, we would be parking and then drive us there to the to the venue and back each day. I was like, no, no, we would not make him do that. We're so close to a train station, we could just get a train each day. Uh, it's £1.60 per day return. Um, from Central Station to Exhibition Centre, which is the station we need to get off to get to the venue. Um, or we take about an hour to walk there. Um, we might choose to walk one morning um, just to either see what it's like walking. Um, it'll be good for a vlog opportunities for me and Collector because I'm willing to try and make as many videos as possible. Um, things like that so hopefully should be pretty okay and um, but if it's so we're going to bring well part of it, we always bring too much stuff for comic con but we prefer bringing way too much stuff than not enough stuff okay what are my eggs are at quickly three and five or just appeared another i'm even going for the weedles weedles hate me recently um but so we are, yeah, we always bring too much stuff for Comic Con. Way too much stuff, it's unreal. Um, so, we're going to be bringing our umbrellas, like, well, umbrella, we have one, <laughs> just to, just in case it rains, either going there or going back or going to and from the venue. Um, there's nothing worse than standing in queue to go inside and it starts raining. And trust me, it's happened before. <laughs> um, so, we usually try and bring an umbrella with us, so we do have one this year to actually bring with us. Because, one, collector's costume is very heavy, and if any water gets on it, it will, one, run the paint that's on it, 
and two, we'll weigh him down a ton because it'll just soak up all the rain. <laughs> so we'll need to try and keep him as dry as possible. Um, which is also why we want to try and bring the car because his precaution is so big and because of the alterations to it, it's going to be when it first arrived, it actually came folded up in itself, so it was like the size of a bowl. It was actually so folded in and crushed in on itself, it was fine. But because I've done alterations to it, there's no way it can be folded in now without ruining it. So we have to have it like full size. So we're going to either have to put it in the bin bag and put it in the boot or in the back of the car. But what I might see if we can do is very nicely ask her mum if we can take her car. Her car is slightly bigger. Um, slightly easier to get stuff in and out because it's got the five doors compared to my stepdad who has three doors so he doesn't have doors in the back which would be a pain to get that costume in and out and I don't think we'd even get in the car so I'll probably ask her very nicely obviously we'd come back with petrol in the car we would just come and bring it back like empty because we're not cool, what's in the gym? Ah, okay so the same as last time, well yesterday uh, Whoop. Sorry, there's like trees here, so trying to move through a forest. Um, but, so, hopefully, my step, my mum will actually let us take her car, because it will be a lot easier. Um, hers is actually very, very, like, fuel economy, I guess is the word. Eh, I'll go for the Metapod. Might as well. Nice! But I think Electro really likes the, um, Triangle of Poke Stops outside the hostel, and um, that's probably going to be either our vlogging set, um, if it's either his vlogging area, or he'll do it from his room. The rooms look very nice. Um, well, they all, well, they all look very nice. Um, we had, there was a yeah, clip to find a video online showing off somebody doing like a spoof tour of the hostel in Glasgow. And they actually looked really nice. <laughs> it, was a, it was like a spoof tour, just as a joke almost, but it was like a genuine tour at the same time. So we got to see what each of the rooms looked like, the facilities were there, um, things like that. The only thing is, what's appeared? A weedle. I'm not even going for the fucking weedle. The only thing is that the um, uh, dorms that collectors in look quite small. Um, I have advised them, get a padlock for the suitcase. Nobody is going to attempt to break into a suitcase. What need would they have to break into his suitcase? Um, so, just get, just get a padlock on his suitcase and it'll fit under his bed. The beds are a bit high at the bottom, so you can fit suitcases under. They do have lockers for like personal items, but there's no way he can fit a suitcase in there. Not at all. So he'll have to put the suitcase under the bed and the costume most likely will have to stay in my room till the mo like till the weekend because there's no way he'll be able to keep it in his room overnight it's such a tiny narrow gap between the beds that he will <laughs> he'll not be able to fit the costume anywhere without putting it either sleeping with the thing or having it in our room or yasmin's room yasmin has her own room and um, she did have a room with two people like well her and somebody else and um, a friend of mine but and that kind of went to shit. <laughs> so, a uh, friend of mine is having to pay for the room because the room was already booked and it cannot be changed or exchanged because there's no other rooms available. Um, so she's resisting paying and resisting paying. So, um, have to try and get her to catch up and ask, you know, where this money is because otherwise, how are we supposed to pay for this room? Because uh, I think her share was like, oh, I've got that. 60 or 70, no, I think it was 60 pounds. Um, she thought it was only 50, so um, Yasmin said, no, you know what, just, just pay 50. She, she's, she's not arguing anymore. Um, so she's like, fine, 50, so she, she was meant to pay it last Monday. She's not paid it yet. So we'll just have to keep going at her and going at her and just saying, no, please. You need to pay this money because otherwise, one, Yasmin doesn't have that much money to start with to pay her room. Um, I don't know how she's paying it in the first place. And two, she doesn't have extra money to pay for a second person's slot. 
who's not even staying there. And the thing is, she could have sold the slot. Um, well, she could have been sneaky about it. She could have got the money from a friend because she's been a bit of a bitch about it um, for not paying it. And she could have got somebody else to come in the room with her and charge them. She could have got double money. <laughs> um, but, oh well, it's a bit late now. But, I think we're going to be using some of Yasmin's room because her room is going to be like half empty essentially as a bit of storage for the weekend because there's so much of us stuff coming um, we may have to keep either a collector boxer's costume in her room if ours doesn't have enough room um, or keep hijinxes and our stepdad's costumes hung up in her room just to keep them nice and crisp uh, mine's not too bad. We've that's it. Well, we've also got a travel iron, so um, I'll put it up on Facebook. Well, I'll get hijinks put it up on the um, MCM Scotland Facebook page as well. And if anyone, what we'll do is we always offer. Well, I've always offered it every year. If anyone needs their stuff done, not stuff done. I'm not like a laundry person, um, but because we're there, um, we don't actually know if the hostel has an iron. I presume they do, but for convenience, we bought our own travel iron. Um, so we think the irons will be in the laundry area, which is a pain to run down to the laundry area, to go and iron it, to run back up, to put it on. So we bought our own tiny travel iron. So we'll probably put up on Facebook, whatever room we're in. Um, anyone needs to stuff iron, or if anyone needs makeup done in the hostel, come knock in the room between whatever time we'll quickly do it. Um, I don't mind doing makeup to some people if they can't do it themselves as long as it's not like hyper complicated. Um, I don't think I would advise is bring their own foundation um, because I don't have I've only got foundation to match my skin. Um, so if they need basic done stuff done then maybe um, but we'll probably put up we have a travel iron if anyone wants to use it the night before then come and use it the night before to iron your stuff or come and ask in the morning because we'll probably either iron our we'll probably wake up pretty early six o'clock in the morning probably iron everything up done out the way or we'll iron out the night before hang it up in Yasmin's room so it's done and out the way anyone else wants to use the iron make sure it comes back in one piece <laughs> if not they're paying 10 pounds for a new iron um, but I'm actually really excited for Comic Con. I've never stayed away from Comic Con. You usually have to travel from home over. So it's going to be strange being so close to the venue and staying in like a hostel or like anywhere for Comic Con. I've never done that before. So be... Oh, I need this. I really like this, thank you very much. Um, I managed to evolve an EV yesterday actually, just while I was looking at EVs, um, to our 1700 Babe Huron. But I think they've taken away the name glitch. And the name, because I was like, you know what? I've not had a Jolty on in ages, I'll name it Sparky. And then it turned to Vapor on. I'm like, okay then, I think they took the name glitch off. Um, so, because it was becoming a bit un unfair because everyone was getting Vapor on, so like purposely getting Vapor on. Um, but I'll end this video here, because I have nothing else to do now. I'm almost at the station. The station's like right here. Oop. See how close it is? But yeah.